Hi, it's Matt Bricks, and today I have my fast water cylinder hooked up to my Lenko transmission. And just before the video starts, I just want to quickly say, do you guys want two videos for one being the ex explanation, explanation, and the other being it would run? So, do you guys want two separate videos for that, or do you guys want just one video, what I'm doing right now, where I have the explanation, and it actually running, in one video uh, so that you won't have to skip ahead um, if you were just want to see it actually running so just comment down below what do you guys want and also please subscribe to my channel because I got a lot of views um, not much subscribers so if you guys don't want to miss anything um, just future reference um, the next thing that I'm probably gonna do is overhead valve hooked up to the link of transmission and then after that I'm gonna make a starter. I already have it built. Um, I'm just waiting on trying to record it and stuff. So, just a few th things to throw out there um, for you guys for you guys to consider. So, anyways, I'm gonna go and uh, explain what I've done to this um, since I don't have your feedback, so I don't know what to do for this video. So I'm just gonna do what I regularly do. I'm just gonna have one video. All right, so. This uh, this is a fast one cylinder. Um, I think it went around six thousand seven hundred RPM, somewhere around there. Um, it runs a little bit slower now, of course, because you have to move a flywheel at the end, and you have all this friction, all these bearings and stuff. I did lubricate the Lenko transmission. Ran a whole lot more quieter. It still um, still has some noise to it, and has a lot less friction trying to move it. So. It's much better overall lubricating it. I didn't want to lubricate it in the first video because it was just so many gears and axles, and I didn't know if I was going to take this take this apart in maybe a week or so, and then have you know messy fingers trying to take everything apart. It would just be all mess. So now that I know that I'm going to stick it all together, I'm probably not going to take this apart um, until I make something big or bigger than I really want, uh, bigger than this. Because this is a really, really, um, I really like this transmission because I put a lot of thought into this and put a lot of work and brainstorming this and stuff. So I just don't want to tear it apart within like a week or so. So, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, probably going to run this engine um, somewhere around uh, about the five minute mark or so. So I know it's kind of late. In the video to say this this uh, but if you want to skip ahead to the five minute mark if you want to see it running not me explaining it but um, yeah anyways um, so I in order to run this transmission I have to have this gear reduction you can kind of see there's a tan gear in there and um, there's also a black smaller gear in there and um, so it's a it's geared down to the transmission and you'll definitely see in first gear, it's super slow. I think before, it had a, well, I'm not sure. Well, I'm not sure what it is now. Beforehand, I had a smaller gear ratio in this one. Um, and it had like, it was like 7 to 1, 9 to 1. It was something really low. But now it's probably 5 to 1, maybe, for first gear. It's 5 spins of the engine. It's 1 spin of that. So it's it's very slow at first gear. Um, well, it's not super, super slow, but it's, it's somewhat slow. But anyways, um, that's what, um, I've done it beforehand, because if you just have the transmission directly hooked up to the one cylinder, it'll just stall. It won't go anywhere. Um, it might go into third gear. It might most likely stall, because it's just so much friction trying to move that transmission. Um, plus third gear if you do get to work. It's just chugging along. It's super boring So that's why I have this gear reduction there much more entertaining and much more faster Fourth gear is still pretty fast not gonna lie um, So it's definitely not boring as far as speed goes. So just want to keep that is would keep that in mind. So yeah So about reaching the five minute mark um, Yeah so, just one reminder, if you push it forward to first gear, push it back to second gear, 
push this one, the middle one back to third gear, last one, last gear shifter, push it back as fourth. Alright. So, yeah. This transmission is um, a little bit of a pain trying to make that work, trying to make this work, because you have straight cut gears and stuff. So, um, hopefully I won't be in too much trouble trying to move everything around. But if I ever do move something around, just, just uh, bear with me. Because I have, um, it's just straight cut gear, so, yeah. Like right now, it's just not good engaging. But anyway, I think it's uh, first gear right now. Let's try to start it up, and uh, let's run it. This last second gear is kind of uh, wonky right now. So, like I said, bear with me. I got um, some issues right now. But, yeah, this end here, like I said before, well, if you guys want to see a deeper explanation of this transmission, I do have a video that I made and I'll link it down below. But, um, this is the first and second whenever it slides back and forth to engage it for the flywheel. For the output shaft. So yeah. Um, but it's not working right now for some reason. Because usually whenever you downshift. It doesn't. It has this ra uh, loud revving sound. Whenever it downshifts. And so that's what it's supposed to be. Try that again. It's not a uh, working hundred ten percent. All right, let's try it again. Oh, our fan was gone. supposed to sound like um but as you can see it towards the end it started to not work properly for some reason but, uh, there we go but anyway you can hear um when i was downshifting it just rose pretty high whenever it downshifts which is pretty cool it sounds like kind of like a nascar car but um of course when you're recording this stuff it's you can't capture it fully in a uh, video so in real life it sounds really cool 
Um, so just I uh, want to say that. Um, so yeah. But um, yeah. So well, let's uh, try run again. Um, just one more run to show you guys. Um, so yeah. can do in this transmission which is um, kind of good as far as we just try and drag race this thing um, as far as not uh, missing a shift you can't go from fourth gear to uh, first gear on one time I mean you can try to because of course one of you going fourth gear is like this but if you try to push them up both times it doesn't really engage it might not gauge 100% um, so it probably won't engage either since it's just straight cut gears but um, in real life, that's one plus about this transmission, is that you can't go from fourth to first or miss a shit or downshift while you're trying to drag race. At least not if you're trying to do an accident. If you're doing it purpose, then of course you can 100% do that. But uh, yeah. Um, but you can hear that um, it's kind of like a I'm not sure I really uh, say this, but it's like a wobbly sound. It's like it's like kind of uh, shaky and that's because like I can do this and it's all that gear slack is just like you can see when I shake it pretty fat uh, hard then the flywheel is just like uh, shaking all the way back there and that's all the gear slack and all the um, well gear slack is whenever you have two gears and that space in between the two gears, they have some space in there so it can move a little bit. And since there's a like, uh, whole lot of gears in this stuff, that space in between there accumulates because you have all those different gears with different slacks in it. So you can have a really tight tolerance gear, but if you have like a million gears, I mean, you have a whole lot of slack as far as, because you have to um, keep, you have to move that distance in order to gauge it. And that's all of that gear slack with all the gears in there. And also the axles, since you have that uh, flywheel, it's also kind of bending slightly. Um, so, yeah. But it's really cool in the end. Um, so, yeah. If you guys want to see more of this in the future, because um, I'm planning on putting the overhead valve engine in this. Thing. So, it's definitely not as fast. Um, but... It kind of sounds like a lawnmower engine, so if you guys are curious to see what that sounds like, um, then you can stay tuned, subscribe to my channel, because you definitely don't want to miss that if you're into that stuff, so, yeah. Bye.